then it was time for us to hit the road again. Keeping to our original route, heading north and then east, still aiming to get to Salvador, traveling through amazing landscapes of central Brazil. Our first stop was going to be Terra Ronca National Park. On the way we had a very close call when a driver tried to pass us on the inside lane, something we've seen Brazilian drivers do time and time and again. And although we had our indicator on, he just ignored it. We were very lucky to escape unscathed and arrived at Terra Ronca and started exploring the great nature and the cave. The terrain is a little bit rough along the road, so I'm going to see if I can float a little bit down into the cave of Terra Ronca. There were thousands of birds nesting in the cave, and the sound and the sights was amazing. Floating down the river, it did get a bit hairy at the end and I nearly saw my ass as my route was blocked by washed up tree trunks and quite sharp rocks. So I could not float right into the cave as the stream runs into the mountains and exits somewhere else. It's quite an amazing sight to be seen. Getting back up, was a little bit more challenging than floating downstream. So if you are enjoying this video, please remember, hit that like button, smash the subscribe and the bell icon to get notified of all our future adventures. After two days at Terra Ronca, we pointed our noses east and kept going. Next up was Chapata Diamantina. We've seen big rivers, in northern Argentina, but this is a big, big river. It might even get bigger as we get closer to the Amazon. So welcome to the town of Palmeira, our first town on the area of Chapada Diamantina, which is our next stop for uh, quite a few days. We want to chill and um, Maybe take a drive or two, but it might take a walk. We might see a waterfall. Navigation is confusing. But we follow what uh, we do what the locals do. We are in Kaete Aku in Diamantina, a bit of a tourist trap street that we're exploring, having a look at all the fashions and the tattoos and the food. It's a bit uphill for me, so I'm a bit sweaty. But yeah, uh, Corinne's uh, trying to find some place to go for a walk. This little town had a feeling of Thailand and a quite a hippie culture, although that is contrasted by a hiking and a fitness culture as well. So Karin found a place to get a guide so she could go hiking the next day and we just chilled on the city square, soaking up the sounds of the buskers. It's a very popular place for Brazilian tourists to come over weekends and it was great feeling like a tourist for a change and seeing other tourists. But still, we did not see any travel. Morning. It is a lovely, what day is it today? Today is Thursday. Good morning. It's a lovely, cool Thursday morning. Now I'm going to do a hike in a small town. Of, and I don't know whether I pronounce it right. See it? I don't know. Lots of, sounds French, but anyway. Yeah, I'm on my way to the entrance to the waterfall hike where, we'll, where I will meet my guide. It's a nice cool day, it's overcast, might rain a bit, so got everything in the backpack. Yeah, come with me. We need as well. My guide. Okay, sweating halfway up the mountain, eh? 
halfway up the mountain, huffing and puffing, really beautiful. And I'm really happy that it's overcast. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so people used to farm here. They had the cows here and you can see pieces of the walls left. As Monica said, they actually put the wall there so the cattle can't go out. You can see yeah. here, um, yeah. this is the corner. Yeah, Yo, this and is hard work. It's eh? big. It's going to you. We are going to see the end of it. Okay, so this is the view from... Are we, we're not at the top yet. Like two thirds. Uh, we are almost at almost. the top. Almost at the top. And you can see the town at the bottom. And our guest house is somewhere in that. Follow my finger that way. Um, yeah, so apparently... Oh, look, it's clearing up. I think it's the perfect day for a hike. It's nice and overcast with the soft mist coming this from this way. It's very much like Cape Town weather. So, I, I'm explaining that this color of lichen shows us the best pure air we can breathe because usually that's this green one, it shows us that the air is very good but this yeah. one shows us it's pure, just pure, no pollution, Yes, just natural air to breathe. Okay, so it's a lot higher than um, what I thought it is <laughs> from here. <laughs> 500 meters, yes. Yeah. Let you, me you show. Can do, you, do, you can do the drop. <laughs> Safely. Because I have my glasses. Ah. Yes. <laughs> oh my word. It feels a lot higher from here. Just one. Okay. Okay, so I just want to say 500 meters, 320 meter waterfall. Personally, I think the view is really nice. Okay, I'm going to show you a family member of the Venus fly trap. Watch closely. Oh, that one you can also see. I don't know. this one. This one. There's another one. Damn, I should have bought some flies. So here you can see how dark the water is and it's all from the different minerals. See? Fresh water, you can drink it. I really enjoyed the hike. And the fact that Monica was fluent in English and very knowledgeable added to the experience. The first 40 minutes was the hardest part as it was mostly uphill but after that I could just soak in the scenery. In total the hike was 12 kilometers long and worth every inch. I arrived home with sore feet and a happy heart. Another day in the Chapara de Amantina and we're stopping for a quick lunch break in a town called Lenswas. Lenswas maybe. Another picturesque town. Lots of old buildings. <laughs> um, challenging cobblestone um, roads. Um, yeah, and it's um, not that damn hot. Uh, let's go and see what we can find for lunch. We don't want to do sit down because we don't want to drink so we still have a little bit of driving to Poco Azul or Azul Poco just the blue uh, crystal clear blue water place and uh, Karits popped into the bank quickly to draw some money it was great after Argentina to not have to carry a lot of cash with us all the time and to be able to use a card for purchasing uh, but yeah, sometimes you do need, need cash, like at food trucks or takeaways. Oh, so success at the ATM money? No, I tried all the cards, different dominations. No success. Okay, so no luck, but uh, hopefully we can use a card. And you are eating what? I, I'm eating a liver steak with rice. And if, if 
Portuguese, it's very long. It's a little steak beefy, with onion. Beefy de vigado aspolado. Yes, with onion. Por favor. Yeah. Si. And I'm and having calabresa acebolado. And we are. Which is so sausage. We are. And we are linsois. We are in linsois. And in what town were we? How did that guy pronounce <laughs> the name? Um, Sete. Our car, but he said it must, we must just say Kapao. We mustn't yeah. worry about the town name. Everybody says Kapao. And that's why we don't know where we are. But we are. And we're having fun. In our next episode, we finally make it to Salvador to explore the carnival culture and beach life, Brazilian style. But that's a story for another time. So please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our Patreons for making these videos possible.